Now I'd like to tie for you another wet fly, and this is called the Hardy's Favorite. The hook I have in advice is a two extra long nymph wet fly hook, and that is a size 14. I'm going to use black 8 aught thread. We're going to put the thread behind the eye and bring a base down to the rear of the hook. And we're going to stop just about where the barb of the hook is. First thing we're going to put on is a tail, and the tail is going to be golden pheasant tippet. We're going to tie these in at the length of the hook shank. So we want them just behind the second dark spot. And that looks pretty good there. Pull them just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to tie in the rib. And the rib is going to be red floss. I'm going to tie that in the length. Make the tag the length of the body also. Now for our body, we're going to use two strands of peacock hurl. And we're going to tie those in by the tip. And we're going to make them... That, that tag the length of the body also and we're going to tie those in and we're going to bring everything forward tie everything in forward and we're going to stop about one eye length from the eye of the hook and go ahead and remove the excess tie the rest of that down and bring our thread back to the one eye length. Before we wrap our peacock rail, we'll take a little bit of head cement and put a little bit of head cement on the shank. And then we're going to wrap this forward. And don't be afraid to go over about going over where you already went. It will just make it a little bit thicker. To have a little bit of space there, that's not a big problem. Not a problem at all. You can see it's filling in right rather nicely. And wind that pretty tight. And when we reach the thread, we're going to go ahead and Tie that off. Put a couple wraps in front. And we can remove that excess. Now we can take our red floss and we can wet that just a little bit. And this is a single strand and you can turn this into a rope by twisting it. And we're going to counter wrap this and palmer this forward. This is an additional layer of security for the peacock curl and also adds that little bit of color in there. We get it to the front, we're going to tie that off. And we can remove that excess. Clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to take a brown hen hackle. And I remove the hackles from the top. I'm going to tie it in by the butt with the barbels on the bottom. And we're going to secure that. I'm going to have to put my hackle pliers on this. And we're going to give this a couple of wraps.
and we're going to tie that off. We're going to remove that excess. I'm going to push all of the hackle to the bottom from the both sides. And we're going to wrap back on that just a little bit. Let me get that from that side. There we go. Now for the wing we're going to use molted turkey quill and you want this the molted quill you can see it's at the top of this uh, tail feather we don't want these real dark ones so we want from there want this piece here and we have a pair of them put together and we're going to tie them in we want them to be just the tip to be just about halfway into the tail. Now hold them tightly right on top. Make a loose loop. Pull it straight down. Secure them. I'm going to remove the excess. And I'm going to tie that head down. I'm going to take my whip finish. Put some head cement on there. And here we have Hardy's favorite. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.